Well, I'm Bobby Unser, and I drive the Arco Graphite Eagle, owned by Teddy Yip from Hong Kong. And the car was built and designed by Dan Gurney out in Santa Ana, California. Well, I think Joe's a good driver. He's uh, probably one of the best print car drivers in the United States today, and he has uh, Joe has a lot of capabilities. Uh, I look at him as being a very versatile driver. In other words, his capabilities for learning are very good, and of course, this is what I look for in a future race driver. I feel that I could take somebody like little Joe and, and make him into a super good driver with a big team, probably in a, in a shorter time than most people would realize is possible, a la Rick Mears going with Penske. Well, I think uh, Joe Saldini is exactly the same type of material. Probably even a little bit better because he has a tremendous amount of experience compared to a lot of the other rookies. Poncho Carter and I drive the, the Budweiser Lightning car number eight. He's a, a good race driver. Uh, I feel that uh, he's uh, on the road the right direction now. He's got a decent champ car ride and he's uh, had some good showings. And the fact that Atlanta, he finished ahead of me, so I can't uh, say too much bad about him when he can outrun me. And we were felt like we were running very competitive that day. But uh, Joe's really uh, doing a good job, and I think he's headed, like I said, headed the right direction and uh, with the right assistance and help. I think he he's going to be one of the top-notch champ car drivers here next year or so.
Joe for probably five, six years, something like that. Joe's a very fine driver. He's a very talented man. He's uh, very capable of running a championship uh, in an Atlas car. He, he does, a, as far as I'm concerned, he does a fantastic job. I remember Atlanta, Georgia. Joe passed me. I was, we were both running pretty good. And he went around me, and uh, I said to myself, look at there, there's a, there's a guy that's new at the game and doing a heck of a job, and he just, uh, He's a fantastic young coming driver. The first race car I ever bought was a, a car out of Beatrice, Nebraska, and it, the whole car with a trailer cost me $500, which today that wouldn't even buy one tire and wheel. At that time, I thought Speedway would be something great, you know, the Indianapolis 500, if I could ever be good enough to go there, which that Thank dream came true. For about three or four years, I laid brick and I still hold a journeyman bricklayer card. And it kind of helps me in the sun. Uh, you work out in the sun all day long, and, and then you jump in one of these race cars, and you have to go out there and run 100 laps, like at Atlanta, where it was really hot, or here in Texas, where it's hot. You can get out of the race car after 100 laps, you're tired, but you're, then you can go down the line and look at other drivers, and you're not as tired as they are. I drive the Leader Card Racing 24, it's sponsored by Thermal King. This is my first year with Thermal King, but so far we've really had good luck together. We work good together and we're looking forward next year to getting a new V8s and, and starting a whole new season. Well, I've known Joe since I started in the USAC. I started in 73 and Joe was already in USAC before I started. And I was friends with Joe before I ever started running USAC, but Joe's really come along in racing. He, he really looks better in the champ cars than anything he's done so far, he's good and consistent. And right now he's driving an older car, but you know, this is the name of the game here. It takes a lot of money and the better sponsor you got and the better equipment you got, the faster you go. When they, they say, gentlemen, start your engines and, and that motor fires up and you're sitting there and, and you look up and all these people are there and you think, boy. And then uh, they actually push you off and you make that parade lap. And believe me, all them people, that's Indianapolis Motor Speedway is full of people during the, that day. And it's just, a, it's a feeling that you just, you can't explain, you know, it's something. <laughs> 